Hello guys, I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel, Raptor of Tech. If you guys are watching for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get into the topic. Today, we will discuss about the opacity, display, visibility, and overflow. Okay, what exactly the opacity means? This property makes the element transparent. Okay, that means the background information is visible through the element. We can we do practically. Okay. Taking one of the new file HTML. Okay, see I'm giving the okay. This is focus. Okay, and also ID is equal to Okay. Internal styling. Style. Okay. I'm giving body background image URL. See, this is the thing. Can we check it out this one? Open with ISO one. See, we saw it coming. This is the opacity. Okay. This is the dev type. Now, I need to check the opacity. It is a ID tag, right? That is why I'm using dash dev one font size. We can give 30 pixel. Okay, background color. Uh, let's give green. Away. Okay, can we check it out? This one, see this. So it is coming. Background is not displayed for the center. Okay, now display. Okay. Only for this one, it is not now. Can we check the opacity? Okay, opacity. I'm giving one. See, I'm giving opacity one, but there is no change. I'm giving opacity zero. See, it is not displaying anything. Suppose I'm giving opacity as 0 0.6. See, now background image also we are able to see. Okay, suppose we can do 0 0.1 also. See, the background of this clearly this view. Okay, by seeing this one, we can point, uh, we can conclude one point, right? Here, the range of the opacity is from 0 to, from 0 to 1. Okay, from 0 to 1. Opacity is from 0 to 1. Okay, and also you can give uh, any any number uh, from zero to one means you can give zero point one or zero point two or something up to zero point one. Okay, one also it is fine. Okay, if it is one fully visible, yeah, we can we are also see right. If it is one, we can able to see. See, it is one. We can able to see the entire. Thing. If it is uh, between 0 0.1 to 0 0.1, it is a bit transparent. Okay, it is a bit transparent. And if it is zero, if it is zero, it is invisible and fully transparent. Okay, you are getting it. This is about the opacity. And next one is display. See. Um, Taking this one. Now, what exactly display? This display property is specific the display mode of an event. We can have three display properties. This one is block, int line, and none. We already discussed about the block and int line. Now we will discuss about the none. See, I am giving dev two, dev three. 
बिल्कुल स्टिंग फॉर दिस ओके डेव टू डेव थ्री डेव टू डेव थ्री कैन यू चेंज दिस कलर हियर रेड ये कैन यू गिव अलग ये अलग अलग तो एवरीथिंग इस लेने के लिए इसमें सी दिस सो वी आर गेटिंग नाउ आई एम अप्लाइंग display none none for this dev2 means here dev2 will not see by seeing this one see we are apply display none for which one this one dev id dev2 okay see it hides the element okay it hides the element. the one the two is height and also its space already it has it dot space some space its space will be occupied by other elements automatically okay you are getting right by using display none it it the element got height and also its space is occupied by another element means the dev3 got occupied by dev2 right Dev two's place is occupied by Dev. Okay. Next thing is visible. See here. Display now. See now I am applying visibility. Visibility hidden. Okay. Can I save it now? Save and go to here. See same. Like as display, but the difference is it hides the element, and its space will be reserved as this. No one will occupy this dev two space. This is about the visibility. Okay, we can we have two parameters visible, and we have when we give visible, it will display. When we give hidden, it will. Hide the element and it will not. Ah, uh, it its place is reserved as this. Okay, and next thing is next thing what we discuss overflow. See, suppose suppose I'm bringing down all these things. I'm bringing these things also. Now I'm giving okay. Yeah, we have hundred words inside there. One can we uh, check it out? What exactly the output is? It is so. It will be now. I want with this equal to three hundred pixel. Okay, this the width and height is equal to two hundred pixel. Okay, see my dev one is occupying with just three hundred pixel and height as two hundred pixel and. What my requirement is in the overflow uh, property, we have three uh, values: visible, hidden, and auto. When we select visible here, see overflow, overflow, visible. See, 
it is coming like this. It means visible means it shows the additional content outside of the element. Means this is the element. This is the element. Up to here, it is the element. Whatever the background is green color, that is the element. After that, whatever the extra content we have, that will display outside the element. This is the outside the element. Suppose if we give hidden. See what will happen. See, it hides the additional content. Means what? Uh, it does not fit within the which is does not fit fit within the element. Means whatever data. This is the data and some other data is also there. We give uh, width and height as 300 200, right? It will display up to here. And after the, if there is any extra content here, it will display, it will not display. Because of we are applying overflow hidden. Okay. If another property is there, overflow auto. See auto. See by using this one. Auto will show the scroll bar, okay, automatically if necessary. If necessary, why? If it is necessary, means if it is fits within this uh, width and height, it will not give the scroll bar. If it is not fits, it's already having the extra data, right? That is why it should show the extra data. That is why it is giving the one scroll bar. See, up to end, we can able to see within the element. This is about the overflow property. These are the four things we are discussing in this class and opacity, display, visibility, and overview. Okay. That's all from me, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.